welcome to the official World of Tank Splits channel. Within this video you will find all the information you need to get you on your way in the World of Tank Splits missile exercise event. There's the opportunity to get hold of a tier 7 T49 ATGM and a tier 9 Kampfpanzer 70. The event will start on the 23rd of August at 12am GMT time. When you log into the game on this day, you will have access to this event screen. Within this event screen, you can pick which stage you want to unlock first. There is no set order. To get orders which you need to unlock each stage, you can do that via the missions. You need to hit as many resets as you can on the missions to unlock as many stages as you can. Now to get hold of the T49A, you need to pick this middle stage in the middle of the event screen. It will cost you 16,200 orders. If you are desperate to get hold of this tank, it might be worth you going for this stage first because it costs 16,000 and the tank is only available until the 20th of September where it will then be removed from your garage. Within the time it is in your garage, you can play the tank as much as you like. Separate to the T-49A, there is a Kampfpanzer 70, which is a tier 9 reward tank, and that is a tank you can keep permanently. Here's how you go about getting hold of that. The first option, you can go via these containers. You're going to unlock containers either with gold or with the orders. There's two different types of containers. You've got that standard container which we just unlocked, and then you have this special container. We will unlock these six containers and then we will open them as an example. Before we do that though, have a quick look at the other things you can unlock as part of this event. Uh, spare parts are on the second column. This one unlocks 45,000 spare parts. This next one in the list will give you 25,000 spare parts and this one 6,750. You also have a chance for a premium garage slot. There is then some certificates for premium time and then we have some free XP and the rest being boosters. If we move over to the storage area and have a look at the containers which we unlocked earlier you'll see we have our special container and we have our standard container. Both give you a chance at unlocking charms. Now charms as you can see on the screen at the moment are the thing you need to unlock the Kampfpanzer 70. You will need 5,500 charms to unlock the tank. So unlocking it via these two containers is actually a very difficult way of doing it. You're more than likely going to get 25, 50, 75 or 150 charms from the standard container. And the special container, you're more than likely to get 100, 125, 150 and 250 charms. Both these containers do have a chance at getting the actual tank. You get 5,500 charms, which is enough to get the tank. However, it's very difficult to get that amount of charms from here. Which leads us on to the other alternative in how to unlock this tank. Combat sigils. Now to get hold of these, you need to do damage. You get one of these for every damage you do at tier 10. The lower tiers have multipliers, however, you're more than likely to earn more when you are at tier 10. And here's how this works. Every day from the 23rd when this kicks off to September the 6th when this first stage of the event ends, the damage you do for your first five wins of the day is then recorded. As an example, if your first five wins, you do 2,000 damage in each of them, that's 10,000 sigils. You will then be ranked on a leaderboard. If by the 6th of September, you are within the top 1,000, you will be credited this tank with this camo. On top of that, when you do get this tank via this means, you will then also be provided with six pieces of unlocked equipment and a garage slot to go with it. Best chance of getting yourself higher up on that leaderboard is by logging in every single day. Getting your first five wins and then you can check your position on the leaderboard via the events page. As a brief guideline from what you can expect from this tank, it has six degrees of gun depression and it has a very very strong turret which makes this terrifyingly good hull down. It has a very weak hull however 
and if you expose your hull you are likely to be penetrated pretty much all the time. Not by HE though, it's not that thin. The gun is not the most accurate as it is a heavy tank gun, so you do need to get up close and personal to use this with its 0.384 accuracy. The alpha damage however provides a very healthy 560 with 240 millimeters of penetration. In terms of mobility this thing provides a 40 km per hour top speed, 28 degrees of track traverse and 18.77 degrees of turret traverse. So we're not talking medium mobility however it is fairly mobile for a heavy tank, something fairly comparable to an IS-8 as an example. So you have two ways in obtaining this tank. Your best odds are by playing daily, doing your five wins at high tier and unlocking it via that means. The next final and important point is how to use your T-49A. Now the missiles in this tank are guided via the reticule on your screen. You will see right in the middle you have your aiming circle and then you have that little triangle within. That is what your rockets will follow. That may sound very simplistic on the surface of it, however you need to learn to aim as the missile is travelling. It will take some practice, however if you're not doing it from behind cover you can watch the missile and how it travels. If you're doing it that way you have a much higher chance of hitting your target and you have a good chance of choosing the weak spot on the tank you are focusing and looking at. Shooting from behind cover with this will take practice. Now the statistics of the T49 AT GM are slightly different from the T49 that exists in the game at the moment. For starters it has these guided rockets. Separate to that we are at tier 7 instead of tier 8 with this tank and this provides 185 penetration on the heat with 560 alpha, 85 millimeters of penetration on the HE with 750 alpha. You'll also find the reload with equipment to be around 18 seconds. There is no aim time or gun dispersion values because the rocket will go to exactly where you point it. This most certainly is going to be a very interesting tank, so make sure you get hold of it while you can, as remember it is only in the game until the 20th of September. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments section below this video, and if you don't have any questions, enjoy the event.